now it's showing for one up reviews and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Nike Kwondo Ones. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's get into it. So today, we've got a look at G-Dragon's very own, his very first silhouette from Nike, and it's the Kwondo Ones. Now, we've got these. Nike Kondo ones in a UK size 7.5. It's a US 8.5 and it's a men's European 42. And just before we dive in, I just want to mention that we have done G Dragon's Air Force ones, the Paranoid. So do check those out. He's very innovative. He's one of the best icons in fashion and in music because he is the king of K-pop in my opinion. And loads of people out there will agree with me. So. But for those that don't know, G-Dragon, he was a member of, of probably the biggest K-pop band way before BTS became a thing. He was a part of Big Bang. Check them out, I really liked their music growing up. And G-Dragon, Young, they were dope. They were great dancers, which kind of adds a little thing to this review here. So we look at the box. So the box itself is very unique. You look at this, I've never seen a Nike box like this. It looks like a travel case. You've got all the detailing around. You got G Dragon's fashion brand, his clothing brand, Peace Minus One, there, and it's dedicated and styled by it. there. You got his birth date, 1988, and the big Nike swoosh. Very dope to see on a on a box. Never seen anything like this. Open it up. Still got the same detailing here, Peace Minus One, Nike, and bits of the detailing on the wrapping paper, and. Prepare yourself guys if you've never seen these sneakers yet, but here they are. Really unique. I've never seen anything like this. Actually, I'm lying. Uh, back in the day, around 2012, when Nike used to own the menswear Kohan, they have done brogues in the past. They sanctioned uh, Tom Sachs to build his very own Nike brogue. I believe they only went to friends and family, but I do remember that there being a black brogue with the Nike swoosh with the whole brogue detailing. If any inspiration was taken from that when G-Dragon made these Kwondo ones, I don't know, uh, you'd have to ask G-Dragon himself. But what I do know is that the reason why they're called Kwondo ones is because it takes inspiration from G-Dragon's name, which his real name is Kwon, I want to say Ki Jung. I totally forget, I've already known him as G-Dragon. It also takes inspiration from one of the biggest exports from Korea and one of their greatest martial arts, Taekwondo. So you can see Kwondo, Kwondo, there you go. So, you know, the more you know. So we'll start with the outsole. So this outsole is similar to wingtips at any brogues that you've seen, or any kind of formal shoes. It's a very smooth outsole. However, you've got the daisies, what the Peace Minds logo here at the heel, and you've got the Nike logo in the middle. Essentially, the midsole is a rubber cup sole all around, and the upper, this is where we get into the nitty gritty, this is where we get into those details. It's an all leather upper. As you can tell with the detailing, it's like a wingtip brogue, but the padding you'll find on the toe box, and it goes around the sneaker or shoe, whatever you want to call it. Here, the Nike swoosh, very nice leather, I might add, very premium, very supple, very nice. What more do you need? Now you've got this detachable tongue. You've got on the right, the Nike logo, and here on the left, you've got a Peace Minus One logo, and that's G-Dragon's logo. It's in one of his albums as well. You can take these off, but I prefer them on. It reminds me of the R9. It reminds me of football boots, but you can see here, it's got your normal lacing function. There you go. The tongue got a leather tongue as well, just underneath this detachable tongue with the Peace Minus One logo as well. You move along to the back, you've got the Peace Minus One Daisy logo here. And on the insole, it's a leather insole. You've got the Nike logo on the right shoe and the Peace Minus One lettering on the left. At the heel, you've got the Peace Minus One Daisy 
bits of the pro detailing as well. And if you're unhappy or want to spice it up, there's another pair of white laces with the yellow aglets on here. Now these sneakers or shoes, I mean, I, I still think they're sneakers. They're, they're shaped like a sneaker. They, they look like a skate shoe mixed with a formal shoe because of the thickness of the midsole. And it's just pretty dope. What I do know is that as his background as an artist, as a dancer and a music performer at the end of the day, G-Dragon has intended for these to be used for dancing. It's shown in the campaign. Loads of people are dancing with these shoes on. And what better way people do the Foxtrot or whatever, they use formal shoes and it's a great take and inspiration for using that, his background in dance. Uh, G-Dragon incorporates this with the intention for dancing. As you may know, if any of you guys watch K-pop or listen to K-pop, they're sick dancers. And just for G-Dragon to incorporate something from that background of his is really dope to see and incorporate you know, Korea's heritage and one of the greatest arts in Taekwondo. I'm so excited to try these on. They're gonna be so different. I'm not really used to wearing brogues myself, but this amalgamation of a really dope sneaker incorporating a wingtip brogue is such a dope idea. Really unique, really cool to see. Really excited to try these on. So I'll roll this footage of me trying these on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size Nike fit. However, probably don't be like me and wear thick socks because it kind of does feel a bit tight. I'm sure we should have worn a bit of thinner socks. Other than that, the, they look so dope on. Like, look at this, like, it's really unique. I've never seen proper white brogues, uh, which are sneakers. And personally, like I mentioned guys, I prefer it with the detachable tongue on. You can't take these off but it just looks like it was meant to be worn with the tongues on. Um, other than that, the only gripe I have is that it creases easily. Look at that, I'll just put these on just now and the left toe is really significantly creased. But what can you do? Um, I thought this would be really slippy, but it's, it's not good traction. Uh, I'm not gonna dance for you. But I'll do a 360 for you. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UP Reviews with a Z at the end. Until next time, peace.